Hi, this is Mohit Yagi. Today we will discuss how we can create the YTD, PYTD, year over year growth based on the financial year. So the financial year means the data should reflect from April till March. If, uh, so in my previous video, I calculated YTD, PYTD based on the January to December. The current year sales, so here it will compare like the January 1st of the current year. But in financial year from April to March, so I will I will compare the order date with the 1st April of the current year. So this is how we, we will need to change in the data. But before going to the calculation, I want to show you the order date, how the order date look like. I can make this adject date and make this discrete. So you will see uh, if I want to calculate the, I will calculate from 1st April till last day, like 30th of December 2021, because I am calculating the current year. Now moving to the calculation part, how we will calculate this? For that, we need to create a calculated field. If condition, if order date less than order date is greater than equal to date and month. In the date track here maximum of order date put this into the curly bracket and order date is less than equal to maximum of order date put this into the curly bracket then sales as so this is how we can write this calculation if i will explain this for you so first order date is comparing with the 1st April 2021. So this give me the 1st April 2021. So I can run this, control C, apply, okay. I can create a dummy calculated field and I can write that calculation. So that should give me the 1st April 2021. Apply, okay. Mm, change this into the date. Take this into the text, make the exact date, right? So this is the first April. So I can remove this and going directly to the YTD. Where is the YTD? So this will give me the first April 2021. So my order date should be greater than or equal to 1st April 2021 and order date less than or equal to maximum order date. So maximum of order, order date, which is 30 December 2020. Then it should give me sales as zero. Right. So we can, so we can do the same, same for the uh, previous year YTD. So if I will explain this for you step by step. So first of all, uh, the expression will calculate this one. So here it will give me the maximum of order date, which is 30 December 2021. And date means it is going one year back. 30th December 2020, right? So now I'm taking the date trunk. Date trunk means 
it is taking the first day of the previous year means 1st january 2020 now i am adding three months right so in january 1st january 2020 i'm add so i'm adding three months so which is 1st april 2020 same for the here right it will calculate first this one maximum of order date so i'm taking date trunk of that maximum of order date which is 1st january 2021 and i'm adding three months so which is 1st april 2021 so i'm looking for less than 1st april 2021 and greater than equal to 1st april 2020 okay So you can see my current year YTD and the previous year YTD. So I can either interchange this. So this is our sales. Suppose I want to see the year over year growth percentage. So for that, I need to create another calculator. Year over year. So some of current year YTD. YTD minus some of PYTD. So this will give me the difference. So I am just applying this okay, and creating another one for that. And I will use this year over year one year divided by sum of sum of p by t b and I can use that year over year <coughs> growth. like okay and i can take this here so now it is giving me zero so i can change the format go to number and percentage it should be two one or if you don't want zero that's your choice so five percent difference if you want to see the point one point two so you can do this this is actually minus 4.5 percent which is going down if you will see the previous year and the current year so previous year is higher so which is 4.5 percent higher right so this is how we can create our year to date previous year to date based on the financial year we already have discussed like uh, YTD, PYTD based on the January to December, right? Here it is based on the April to March. So if you really like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.